Recently, Benavides's father and trainer Jose Sr. came forward alleging that Canelo's team actually contacted them about making the fight happen. However, there was a massive catch involved with the offer that raised some eyebrows. Essentially, Jose Sr. claims Canelo's camp reached out signaling interest in the Benavidez fight, but only if Team Benavidez agreed to take an extremely low-ball purse offer first. We're going to break this whole situation down in depth today, analyzing whether Canelo was actually serious about making the fight or if this was a tactical power move on his part. Does this change perspectives at all in terms of who truly wants or needs this fight to happen between the two super middleweight stars? Let's jump right into the latest he said. He said controversy. All right, so according to Jose Benavidez Sr., this is how events transpired recently between the camps before things fell apart. Benavidez's promoter, Samson Lukowicz, reportedly contacted Team Benavidez saying he had received an offer from Canelo Alvarez about making the fight, but with one major condition involved. The condition was that for Canelo to agree to face Benavidez next, Team Benavidez must accept just the bare minimum purse payout of only $5 million for the fight. No negotiating room or percentage splits. This amounted to a massive lowball offer with Team Canelo trying to set the financial terms unilaterally while giving Benavidez zero leverage or say. Hardly what you would call fair bargaining, right? Still, Benavidez's father says they agreed to the deal anyhow without hesitation, purely for the opportunity it presented. He claims Team Benavidez responded saying $5 million is fine, we just want the chance to fight Canelo regardless of the purse. But shortly after allegedly accepting the somewhat insulting offer of $5 million flat, Jose Sr. shares that Canelo's camp abruptly pulled out of talks and ghosted them. The offer mysteriously disappeared as quickly as it materialized. So what do we make of this entire bizarre negotiation process described by Jose Benavidez Sr.? Was Canelo actually considering fighting Benavidez before getting cold feet? Or could this have been a tactical power play? The elder Benavidez theorized that perhaps Canelo's motivation was testing their willingness to accept a lowball deal initially. By agreeing so easily to just $5 million, it may have signaled desperation, and given Canelo increased leverage had talks materialized further. But with Team Benavidez showing no hesitation in accepting the somewhat disrespectful deal, it seemingly spooked Team Canelo off entirely instead. The speculation is Canelo may have been negotiating with multiple opponents simultaneously and ultimately decided moving in a different direction made more practical sense than dealing with the high-risk Benavidez after all. Hard to say for sure though. Regardless, Jose Sr. maintains they have zero regrets about agreeing to the Canelo fight for cheap because they view it as a once-in-lifetime opportunity that could launch Benavidez's career forward. He still believes Canelo deserves the lion's share of the purse anyway, as the A-side star who commands vastly higher financial guarantees. They aren't worried about money or fairness at this point, purely chasing greatness. To better understand the context around these conversations, let's examine why Team Benavidez remains so utterly determined to land the Canelo fight at any cost. At 27 years old, boasting a flawless 28, zero record with 24 KOs, David Benavidez represents one of the only legitimate threats left to Canelo at 168 pounds. He possesses rare physical tools and attributes. Standing 6'2", Benavidez fights out of a power-punching pressure attack style. He has heavy hands, a granite chin, and an inexhaustible gas tank. Once he starts unleashing combinations, few opponents can hold up over 12 rounds. Despite being a two-time super middleweight champion, the knock on Benavidez is a lack of truly signature wins over elite fighters thus far. He steamrolled the B-level names but hasn't faced accepted world beaters. A victory over the legendary Canelo obviously changes that overnight. It transforms Benavidez into a certified boxing superstar and likely the new face of the division with a stage and platform to launch his stardom into the stratosphere. So while $5 million seems like an undeserved low purse for such a dangerous assignment, Team Benavidez clearly recognizes the exponential upside a Canelo win unlocks down the road financially. It's a calculated investment on their part taking short money on the front end for the jackpot payout on the back end. 
Therefore, Jose Sr. says Benavidez already makes better purses currently than $5 million anyhow from less dangerous matchups. For them, it's strictly about obtaining elite glory. As for Canelo, it's totally understandable if he has trepidations about volunteering to fight a young lion like Benavidez, despite the risk of criticism for supposedly ducking him. The 33-year-old Canelo is putting the finishing touches on an already legendary Hall of Fame career. He has won multiple titles across four weight divisions and still reigns as the undisputed champion at 168 pounds following his masterpiece against Caleb Plant last year. In 64 pro fights, Canelo has never tasted defeat, aside from a controversial decision early in his career against Floyd Mayweather, along with his last bout against light heavyweight champ Dmitry Bavol. So his perfect 60-0 record specifically at super middleweight is rightfully something Team Canelo wants to protect and preserve before riding into the Hall of Fame sunset one day soon. With literally nothing left to prove as an all-time great lock, why put your perfect legacy ledger at risk against a young marauder like Benavidez with dynamite in both fists? Up to this point, Canelo has brilliantly managed risk versus reward, milking maximum profits from his matches while minimizing chances of a catastrophic upset. He has all the leverage and negotiating power right now. But ignoring Benavidez and his loud fan demands indefinitely also threatens to damage Canelo's otherwise sterling reputation with Mexican fight fans if it looks like outright avoidance rather than strategy. So, in essence, Canelo faces non-stop scrutiny either way unless he silences critics by steamrolling Benavidez or losing controversially. Almost a no-win dynamic despite his bargaining strength on paper. So what's my personal hunch? Does Canelo ultimately take the high-risk fight against Benavidez at some point, or continue steering clear of the young monster? Well, considering these latest revelations from Jose Benavidez that Canelo at minimum flirted with making the fight happen despite an underwhelming purse offer attached, I actually think the chances are now higher that the fight manifests itself. Maybe not next immediately in May. But I expect sometime in late 2024 we see Canelo decide he wants to shut up remaining critics and secure his ironclad legacy by ripping away Benavidez. These recent negotiations indicate that while Canelo searched for reasons not to fight Benavidez lately, he's running out of legitimate excuses other than obvious danger. And for a warrior like Canelo who never ducked challenges, I see the competitive fires overtaking any apprehension. My official prediction is we get Canelo versus Benavidez signed for September 2024. Canelo voluntarily grants Benavidez his requests after tiring of being called scared. He systematically breaks the power puncher down in a tactical masterclass before stopping him late when Benavidez finally wilts. Canelo then rides into retirement having conquered perhaps his most physically intimidating foe yet. Canelo reaffirms his spot atop the mythical pound-for-pound -pound lists, while a game Benavidez earns universal respect in defeat, along with bigger future paydays. It's a legacy-defining challenge Canelo must eventually answer or questions will linger forever staining his flawless body of work. That's all we have in store for today. If you enjoyed today's video, press the like button, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon so that you never miss out on an update from our channel.